Welcome, everybody. I just wanted to take two minutes of your time. As most of you know, Sheikh Atif will be leaving us in uh, the early new year. And as difficult as that is for all of us to accept, uh, all of our community and myself, there is something positive that I wanted to say today. I wanted to say a few words of recognition. I only have a few minutes, so I'll make the most of the time that I have available. Sheikh Atif has been an inspirational leader who has changed many lives within our community and much further afield. And that's based on real facts. He has served the community in many different ways, too many to even list in the time I have available here. Everything from classes, lectures, counseling, special events at Joshua Tree, and Sheikh, I know that's one of your favorites, through to the personalized help that he's given so many of us, including myself. He's truly a gem in our community, and he will be truly missed. As chairman of the board, Sheikh Atif, Jazakallah Khair, for everything that you've done for us over the last six to seven years, and what you continue to do for us on the road ahead. Please don't be a stranger. You're still with us. And Jazakallah Khair for everything. Asalaamu Alaikum. Inna alhamdulillah. Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'khfiruhu. نعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. We begin by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him and we ask His help and we seek His forgiveness. And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil inside us and from the evil consequences of our bad actions. Whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one can misguide. And whoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves to go astray, no one can guide. I testify that there is no God to be worshipped but Allah. And Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is our master, our teacher, and our leader. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een. Alhamdulillah. Imam al-Bazzar, rahimahullah, collected a hadith that it says that once a man came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked for sadaqah. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave him. And then he asked him, have I done good to you? And this man says, la wallahi ma ahsanta wa la ajmalt. This man was incredibly rude to the Prophet ﷺ and he said, no, you did not do good to me, not at all. The companions of Rasulullah ﷺ who were sitting with Rasulullah ﷺ, they became so angry and they wanted to go after this person. But the Prophet ﷺ stopped him. He got up, he walked into his house, he brought more and he called a man. So this Bedouin came and the Prophet ﷺ gave him more and he asked him, have I done good to you now? What do you think? He said, yes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless your family and reward you immensely. Then Rasulullah ﷺ said to him, لَقَدْ قُلْتَ مَا قُلْتَ أَمَامَ أَصْحَابِ You know, what you said earlier in front of my companions. 
you know, it made them angry. So if you like, can you just repeat what you just told me in their presence? So that might remove any ill feelings that they have in your heart, in their hearts toward you. So the Prophet ﷺ is worried about people's hearts. He said, yes, I will do that. He took him out and he told the companions, you heard what this man said earlier. But then I gave him more and he seemed content. Is that not so? The man said, yes, may Allah bless you, bless your family, and may he reward you immensely. And then he left. After he left, the Prophet Muhammad said something very interesting to the companions. He said something about gentleness. He taught the companions the meaning of having gentleness, the importance of being gentle. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the mathali wa mathalu hadha, the likeness or the example of this man and me, is like a person who has a camel and the camel ran away. And people start shouting and yelling, running after the camel, and they made it shy away more. So he saw that the owner came and he saw that he stopped him. And he said, I am more compassionate and gentle to it. Stop. And he started walking slowly and gently towards the camel. And he picked some grass in his hand and waved to the camel. And the camel started to walk towards this man. He put the saddle on and he rode off. Gentleness, brothers and sisters, is one of the most sublime qualities of the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam taught people love. He taught them kindness and compassion. He taught them appreciation and how to appreciate others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights his gentleness in the Quran. He says about him, فَبِمَا رَحْمَةٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ لِنْتَ لَهُمْ وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَضًّا غَلِيظَ الْقَلْبِ لَنْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights this great quality in, in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he says in the Quran that it's an act of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you're kind to them. And had you been hard-hearted and harsh, rude with them, they would have broken away from you. See what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights in here, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in other words is saying to us that people respond to gentleness. People respond to kindness. People's hearts incline to those who are kind and gentle with them. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was on the top of all of that. Muawiyah ibn al-Hakam al-Sulami, one of the great companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when I converted to Islam, I joined the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a prayer. While I was praying, عَطَصَ أَحَدُ الْقَوْمِ Somebody sneezed. فَقُلْتُ لَهُ يَرْحَمُكَ اللَّهِ So while I'm in prayer, I said to him, يَرْحَمُكَ اللَّهِ فَأَخَذَ النَّاسُ النَّاسُ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَيْهِ فَقُلْتُ وَاثُكْ لَا أُمَّا لِمَا تَنْظُرُونَ إِلَيْهِ People start staring at me. And I ask, what is wrong? Why you're looking at me that way? فَأَخَذُوا يَضْرِبُونَ عَلَىٰ أَفْخَاذِهِمْ أَيْ أُسْكُتْ So they start hitting their thighs, so I understood that they want me to stop talking. So I stopped. And I was waiting for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after the prayer to say something بِأَبِي هُوَ وَأُمِّي مَا رَأَيْتُ مُعَلِّمًا خَيْرًا مِّنْهِ May my father and my mother be sacrificed for him. I've never seen a teacher who is better than him. He did not 
yell at me. He did not insult me. وَإِنَّمَا قَالَ لِي إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ لَا يَنْفَعُ فِيهَا شَيْئًا مِنْ كَلَامِ النَّاسِ بَلْ هِيَ التَّكْبِيرُ وَالتَّحْمِيلُ وَقِرَاءَةِ الْقُرْآنِ He said to me, صلى الله عليه وسلم, that you cannot talk during a prayer. Prayer is only to exalt Allah and praise Him and to recite His Qur'an. Brothers and sisters, in this example, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, demonstrated that gentleness is a strong hand with a soft touch. He demonstrated وسلم, that gentleness is, is a tender, compassionate approach towards others. He demonstrated in this example Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that a gentle person can still correct the mistakes, can he still speak the truth, but he watches his tone. Why? So that the truth will be well received. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not just gentle, he also commanded people to be gentle. It's unfortunate that some of us sometimes we associate gentleness to weakness. And it's only true if you assume that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was weak, which he wasn't. He taught people وسلم, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rafiq wa yuhibbu al-rifq wa yu'ati ala al-rifq ma la yu'ati ala al-unf He taught people sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is gentle and he loves gentleness and he gives with gentleness that which he does not give with harshness He taught people that sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so now, brothers and sisters, are you gentle? Are you gentle at home with the people who live with you? Are you gentle with your spouse, your kids? Are you kind to them? Wallahi, your personal spiritual maturity can be measured by how you treat people, how you know, appreciative you are, how sensitive you are, how kind and gentle you are. There's so many problems in the society. We live in a society that has none of this anymore. More people, uh, a lot of people are harsh, rude. They, they demand things from you. They bark at you and instead of asking you gently. SubhanAllah. You wonder sometimes what, what happened to common courtesy? Where did it go? Really, where did it go? The Prophet وسلم, said, من حرم الرفق فقد حرم الخير كله. Whoever is deprived, whoever is deprived of gentleness, he is deprived of all goodness. People will listen more if you're kind and gentle with them. People will do more for you if you're kind and gentle with them, then you're harsh and obnoxious. You know how they say you can catch flies or you can catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. It's the same way. So I believe, brothers and sisters, if you put the effort to improve that quality in you, to follow the role model that, Rasul, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us, which is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to read more about how kind and gentle he was sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You might, be able, you might be able to improve your relationships with people. And I believe if you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase his blessings and favors to you. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa
الحمد لله صلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن والاه اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما انفعنا اللهم زدنا علما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين الحمد لله so you heard brother Salim before the khutbah and I'm sure all of you know now that inshallah a lot of you saw the thermal message that I sent to uh, to the community through social media and I just want to say that it has been a, a great honor and a great blessing to be a part of this community for the last six and a half to seven years. I have been blessed by so many things. Yes, I was saying that I, I have been blessed by so many things. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me so many. Favors and blessings. That when I look at my life, 16 or 17 years ago, I came to this country and I was homeless in the street for a couple of months. Didn't speak a word of English. And I fought through this. Of course, by the blessings and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I don't know a word express my gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the things that he did for me in my life for the amazing woman I'm married to and for the communities that I served but it's always hard to, um, to say goodbye to the people that you love and I have formed so many amazing relationships with so many amazing people in this community and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this community. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to replace me with someone who's better, someone who's greater, someone who's more knowledgeable, more patient, somebody who will fulfill all the needs, all of your needs, Allahumma ameen. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also to forgive me for any shortcomings. And I ask you as well, humbly request that you make dua for me, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless my next journey, Allahumma ameen. You always be my heart, and this place will always occupy a part of my heart. I have been actively looking since Ramadan. And the reason why it, there are people have their own reasons why they move from this place to another when they leave the job to another job. But if you want a reason, I will give you one inshallah. And the reason is that after I consulted with some of my shayukh overseas and the people that I take advice from here, and I told them the options that I have, all of them said, take that one that it's about to start. Take that one that is not established yet. I said, I'm 
this is tough. They said the opportunity to start a community from the ground up rarely, rarely comes along in a lifetime. And I felt that this is really the time of my career and in my age to start something from scratch. I won't be far. Those of you who care, I'll be just right around the corner. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless this community. I'll be here, inshallah, for the next couple of months. Please, anything that I can do for you, let me know. And please, remember me and my family in my dua. From the bottom of my heart, you know, thank you for everything that you did for me. Thank you for the love and the support. Brother Salim and all the brothers in previous boards, board, board, a chairman of the boards who supported me, who showed me love, all the community members who ran to me at the time of need. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. I will miss you. اللهم اجعل هذا الجمع جمعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا ولا بيننا شقيا ولا محروما يا الله we ask you to ease the pain and the suffering of anybody who's going through any type of pain or suffering we ask you to beautify us inwardly and outwardly we ask you to show us the way to win your pleasure We ask you to show us the way to win your pleasure. And we ask you to protect our eyes from cheating and our tongues, from backbiting and slandering. We ask you to be with the beloved of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Jannah and to be under his banner and drink from his head and from his blessed basin in Jannah. Allahumma amin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all as he blessed the righteous people before us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy in our parents and bless our children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ease the pain of those who are going through any type of health issues. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help those who have financial problems to pay off their debts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy in those who passed away. Allahumma ameen. Ameen, ameen. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين